What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. I have a really, really, really spooky unboxing, girl. Once you watch the unboxing and if you like the palette, comment down below dark because I'm going to be giving away this palette. There are four simple rules. One, like this video. Two, comment down below dark. Three, follow me on Instagram if you have it. And four, follow me on Facebook if you have it. And I'll announce the winner later on this week. So anyway, so this makeup is by Lunatex Cosmetics. They make really spooky, cool makeup. I actually bought a mattifying powder and I'm still waiting for that to come in the mail. So I just can't wait to get that. But when I saw that Elvira, mistress of the dark, honey, had her own palette, I had to scoop it up and try it out. the Elvira Mistress of the Dark makeup box right here. This is from Lunatic Cosmetics, like I said earlier. And the box that I received it in is kind of like a coffin. So I'm gonna turn it around this way. I don't wanna show you on the front part here. It has like my address and stuff like that. I did buy this with my own money. It got shipped to my house. So I'm going to turn it around. So I'm going to turn it around this way. And I wanna show you the packaging. So here's like the little coffin. In here at the very top, when you lift the lid, it says, thank you. See the little coffin, and you get the little heart with the skeleton hands, and you have your coffin box right here with appears to be spooky blood, ooh. All right, so we're gonna open it up here. There's nothing in there but like dirt, and nothing in there. It's supposed to look like dirt and gravel. So here is, ooh, all this blood. So much blood everywhere. Open it up. Guys, yes, right here. I'm gonna move this off to the side. Da da. All right, I'm just gonna tear it open. So I'm really excited. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Here we go, guys. It's wrapped very well. Here it is in its full glory. Yes. Limited edition Elvira 35th anniversary Lunatics Cosmetics Lab presents Elvira Mistress of the Dark. Look at that. Wow. You can, yeah, it is kind of like popped up a little bit. It's very nice. It's like, it's just like regular cardboard. And then here it's like very glossy and matte. And then this as well. So here is the side of it there. Little blood going on. Wow. The little details there see that then here's the bottom so here at the bottom here are what is this it says Lucy's Cosmetic Lab Environment of the Dark Eyeshadow and Blush Makeup Palette here are your colors so you have Aunt Margana Batitude Super and Leaded Blush Unpleasant Dreams Macabre and Bone all right and then you can see it's made and distributed by Lucy's Cosmetics and you got some information down here at the bottom along with some other information there and you can see some of the chemicals that were involved in here you can see that in the back so here is 12 M this is my product code or serial number right there so I'm gonna open it up <gasps> you guys. check that out I mean as soon as I opened it it's like a little magnet enclosure too so it kind of like shuts by itself Let me check that out. You know, I like looking and playing with stuff. Oh, okay, so it's very that. So it opens up just like this. And it's like that. So cool. And you can see some spider webs. You got some candles. And here are the colors itself. Three, four, five, six little pots there. Some of these are bigger than others. As you can see, this is like the fairly biggest one. And it gets kind of smaller from there. So I want to do some swatches. So we'll do some quick swatches here. So let me grab bone. Very nice. All right, and then we'll grab this macabre, I believe it is. Grab that there. Check that out. Ooh. I want to, I don't know, that, does that showing up red or orange? It comes up to me kind of like a burnt orange, but I want to say it's more red. Okay, and then we have unpleasant dreams, which I said every palette needs a really good black. And you can tap that there. Beautiful, deep, deep, dark black there. Next, we have Batitude. And it feels very creamy. Like, oh, it feels so good. Look at that. And we'll put this right in here. So 
beautiful blue. The what you're seeing on camera is actually how blue it is. It looks that good. Wow. Okay, next is gonna be Ant Morgana. And I'll put this right in here. Beautiful color. I can see a lot of people using this is like a very popular color always right there. And I believe this is super unleader, I believe. I don't wanna butcher the names. But yeah, I'm getting kicking it up right there. And we're gonna put that right in here. Boom, beautiful color there. And here are the colors. You can see it once again for yourself. Super excited for that. Okay, yeah, I know. I think it's a really fun palette. It's really cool. I really do love limited edition stuff and I feel like Elvira is such a cult classic. She really does have like a fan base for of her own and a lot of people love her and she's very well respected and I really do like her. Like at the end of the day, I think Elvira is a really good businesswoman and I do like her worth ethic and how she's remained relevant this long. She's always coming out with cool stuff. So I really do like this palette. Is it the best palette in the world? No, but if you're a fan of Alvira, you would really appreciate this palette. If you look at her makeup here, it's very that, very dark. Um, she really does play a lot with her makeup too. But I really do love it so much and I hope that you can appreciate this palette. Really cool little coffin. You can see that there's how the co coffin would be. And so, so freaking cool. Oh my gosh. Hello everyone. Okay, so this is literally the second purchase I got off Lunatics Cosmetics website. I guess I purchased this with my own money and so I'm really excited to show you. I did a little peek, but other than that, I think you're gonna freaking love it. So uh, yeah, same red packaging. And it has that little thing at the top here, the little thing right there with the, with the thank you with the skeletons. And then down here, you can see it peeking through a little bit, is my receipt. And I'm gonna open that up here. Okay, so this is it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I can never pronounce it right. Is it like Waluigi or Wahoo, Quiji? I don't know. But you know that board that says yes, no? This is the thing that you put your hand on there and you move it around. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about? So that's what this is. I'm gonna go ahead and try to give it a little zoom here. That's a little mirror and I'm gonna cover it up. So it says, Lunatic Cosmetics Labs, mystifying, mattifying, high definition, micro finish press powder. All right, and then in the back here, has some little information there. Ooh, spooky the house, so spooky. Okay, and then I was, I literally thought that like you just open it like this way. So I was like going like this forever. But then I remember, oh yeah, I'm gonna give it a little tilt. And there it is. Ooh. And so I'm gonna go ahead and grab it here. And so there it is. Um, I'm gonna give it a little swatch. And of course there's not really gonna be any major color because it is mattifying. And so this will go on your makeup. And I grabbed a lot, so that's why it's a lot of fallout. And you just go ahead and brush it into your makeup. And so that way your makeup looks extra matte, extra snatched. Now there's no scent to it at all. So I know some people always wanna know like, does it have a scent to it? Nope, no scent at all, but it's very soft. And it's not it's not flaky. Like there isn't like a tremendous amount of fallout. I'm just very rough. If you've been watching my videos, you know I swatch everything like very rough. But yeah, that is what it is right here. Very large pan and you can see probably the thickness of it there on the side. But yeah, this was about $20 I believe. I think it's really worth it, especially for the spooky season that we're in. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, close that up and it's like a magnet here because it just kind of like you hear that yeah it just kind of like snaps back in place there was like a little piece of I think I think there was like a I think there was like paper around this whole thing and I had took it off I believe I'm not sure I forget and this right here kind of shimmers a little bit when you move it around but it's it's not very heavy but it is some weight to it but not extremely like heavy at all so I just think that it's a really cool piece especially if you're into this. I bought this specifically because it is around Halloween time. It's very spooky and I just thought this is something I could have in my collection. Definitely because it's a powder, I'm probably gonna have it for a very, very long time. So this is something I would consider a seasonal item because I would just I would use it during this spooky time and then next year I know it'll still be around for me to use. But yeah, I really do like it and I think it's a really cool niche and like the whole branding of it. All right, bye.
But anyways, I freaking love Elvira, Mystery of the Dark. Like, seriously. I mean, I love makeup. And I also love her. Like, she has literally everywhere, girl. Like, she has managed to be consistent and relevant all this time. She has a book out. She's been in movies. There's even a casino slot machine <laughs> With her, girl, if you ever seen her out of character, she's like really plain Jane. You would never even know she's Mistress of the Dark, Elvira. She's like a regular, like she's very plain Jane. But when she's did up, like, I mean, she's very like, she has very much adopted like drag culture with just amplifying her look and with the bouffant to make her hair bigger and push up the girls and the dramatic makeup, like seriously. And the branding of her is like on point. Like, I really do, like, ugh, I love her so much. So when I got this palette, I was like super excited. I was like, oh my gosh. It's like, I remember watching her show up all night and stuff like that. You remember that? She would like review classic cult films and like really horrible bad movies. But I was always more attracted to more, I was always more attracted to her glamour girl. Like, like the over the topness girl. You know what I'm saying? Like the Dolly Parton of the underworld. But I really do hope that you love Elvira as much as I do or at least you find out. And this is your first time even hearing of her. At least you'll get to know who she is. And maybe you can like do a quick Google search and stuff like that. But she's like amazing girl. I remember seeing her in like a Pee Wee Herman movie. Do you guys remember that? Anyways, I don't want this video to be too long so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it short girl i really do hope you appreciate it thanks for hanging out with me and just watching my little videos and above all else let me know what you guys think about the palette you think it's sickening the house girl it was only like 35 i think 35 dollars 30 dollars like some people who want to charge 40 dollars for a palette girl the shipping was really quick i got it super super quick I think it was like like i want to say like three days or four days like boom i got it girl but as always girl if you like the video smash that like button it helps me out so much comment rate subscribe if you like the video share it don't like the video send it to your haters when they watch it they lost 10 minutes of their life they'll never get back all right, see you next video. Peace. I already know you're going to ask me, girl. So my lips are going to be by Hard Candy Heartbreaker. And a little highlight here is by BH Cosmetics, a little glitter. So I look snatched the house. So I'm going to steal your man. You better hide your man because I'm going to steal him. <laughs>